Good morning. Today we're in Nashville, and this is after recent storms we've had. And if you take a close look at this roof, it's typical of hail damage on an older three-tab roof. You'll see the black marks, the black dots on the roof. I'm going to point those out to you, but this is a perfect example of probably quarter-size hail, golf ball-size hail that we had hitting the roof, okay? So what we're speaking of here are these circular indentations on the roof, and that is consistent with about quarter-inch hail. This roof has been riddled on the, this exposure, don't have as much hail on the back side. This hail usually comes in from the southwest, west, or northwest into the Nashville area. So typical hail damage, this roof should be replaced by insurance. Okay, we're on top of a low slope roof. They've happened to have put on what we call a base coat and cap coat, modified bitumen. Anything that has a slight angle to it, uh, you can put on what we call a roll roof. That's not going to allow water to get underneath like it would a shingle. Uh, therefore, this is a proper installation of a modified bitumen roll roofing uh, two-layer base coat and cap coat. This is an example of a asphalt shingle roof of which the owner decided to overlay. So there are two layers of shingles that are installed on this roof. When you install overlay, it usually reduces the life of the shingle by approximately 50%. This is a 30-year shingle. Probably get around 12 to 14 years, 15 years, when you start to need to look at replacing it because of the heat buildup, just because of the excess layers. Additionally, if you have a leak, it's hard to identify where that is, only because there's a layer of shingles underneath. Therefore, it's not probably going to be directly where the incident exists, okay? If we look over here, you can see where they have installed this and evidently because it's an overlay it wasn't sitting down properly but you have a nail that they just nailed through the top of the shingle additionally you can see where they just put these shingles on just went straight up the roof which is not a typical way to install a uh, architectural laminated design shingle and here they've even overlaid the shingle over one another so they just ran uh, the shingle on top of the other they did not butt them up uh, not a quality job at all and can create some significant leak issues. Also, you can see where they have cracks. They put different color shingles on. They've done some major repair work over in this area. Uh, either that or they got a different shingle. Uh, and you can see where this, there was a shingle on top of this because the adhesive from the shingle on top where they just put it shingles on top of one another uh, is, is stuck on there. Uh, not a quality job. There's some seals, again, where they've overlapped the shingles, and therefore water was getting in. So consequently, they just put some silicone on the exterior. They're looking to replace this roof uh, through insurance because of the storms that we recently had in here. But all these are signs of things that you do not do when you're installing a roof. So this is an overlay roof. We're not going to see much on the other side because of the storm that came through and it happens to be tarp. Um, this, in this case, required tarping uh, because of the size of the area of damage. But as you can see in here, uh, they have put nails, not a proponent of tarps, because now if they didn't plan on doing this roof, they're going to have to replace these one or two rows of shingles. And if you look on the other side, you can see where nails are put throughout the, sh the tarp to hold it down. This whole area would have to be replaced if there happened to be a repair that could be done on it. Because they put a tarp on it, which they were probably directed by insurance, they've destroyed this part of the, the entire part of the roof here. Every time you pull this nail out, it will leave a hole that penetrates the shingle as well as into the decking. And over time, water will get in there, damaging the decking as well as damaging the shingle and could cause leaks inside the house. One other item that you noticed when they installed this roof, this shingle has been dropped about two inches below. The install line should be, as you can see here, or right about in this area, 
they've installed this low so they weren't quite uh, knowledgeable on what they were doing or they started from the bottom and went up and tried to tie it in. This is not a quality installation and will cause problems over time. I don't believe I'll be able to show you. This is a ridge venting that's installed. They do have some type of a vent here. It's not properly flashed. They have a boot, plumbing vent boot down over here that has no flashing on it. Um, so two major issues there. What a lot of people don't realize also is the fact that you have a tree the canopies and the gutter gets clogged. You can see all the leaves in the gutter down here. If you don't have a gutter guard, they overflow and they start to do damage to different parts of the house, whether it be the windows, the foundation, doors, uh, just water piling up, not, not being evacuated properly down the downspout. So what we're looking on this roof is, is a is replacement. Uh, you can take a look at the base of the chimney, which has a counter flashing. This counter flashing is just sealed. It's not cut into the brick. So when we go to do this roof, we would need to re-counter flash this and then cut it into the brick properly all the way around. Uh, counter flashing on a brick chimney. This happens to be a chase cover, a mortar chase cover. Uh, with the flue pipe and what happens is that mortar starts to crack at times and so they have sealed it uh, with a with a tar there are other types of material you can put in but it's something that would need to be maintained over time only because it's an exterior sealing and that will crack based on weather conditions one other item that you can notice on this roof many missing shingles over here there's a few missing shingles in this area, right in here in the valley. And it looks like there was a overlay of several layers of shingles right in this area as to how the shingles overlap one another. They've just put a shingle to here to here right over it. This shingle should have been tied in properly. Same thing with this one. Okay. So that's not how you install shingles. They don't relay. They're supposed to butt up to one another. They've done some repairs, many repairs over time. Different color shingles in here. Uh, there is some rotted decking in this area here due to softness, probably from the flashing and the fact that they have nails put right into the exterior of the shingles. This is a uh, typical example of a roof that Either they wanted to get a good price, or whoever was doing it didn't really have a clear understanding on how to shingle a roof. Another key factor is a lot of times the direct TV satellite dish companies will put the dishes directly on the roof. And as you can see down in here, they just bolt it right in. Consequently, water will begin to penetrate, damage the roof, where it would probably need to be replaced the, uh, the, the decking as well as the shingles. So it's highly recommended that any kind of uh, uh, structure to the roof such as this, these should be put on the fascia board, these should not be put on the physical roof itself. You will be paying the price as time goes by. Uh, so we always recommend you tell them to put them on the fascia. If we go to replace the roof, We'll try to reset these so they function, but you're probably going to have to get the satellite company back out in order to reset that, and it's probably going to cost you about $100 to have them calibrate it to the right satellites. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the roof inspection process, please feel free to contact us at 615-778-1440 or visit our website at ProRoofersInc.com. Stay safe and have a great day.